Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is BK from Kokozini.com. In today's sew along, it's going to be on Vogue 9315 crop top. This is a wrap crop top which has a belt sleeves, a guarded belt sleeves, I will say. So I will be doing a little, a little thing or something that is a little bit different from the instruction on the pattern. It's not that different, but it's just a little bit different from the instruction on the pattern. So I'll be doing it my own way. So if you want to know how many yards you need or the fabric to be to use, um, it's at the back of the envelope. So go check it out. I use a very lightweight um, cotton for mine. It's an Ankara cotton fabric and it's um, a wax cotton so I've already cut out all the patterns that I need I'm using a view C so according to other bloggers that have sewn this um, pattern they said it's a little bit short after you're done sewing it so what I did is I added one inch to the bodice both the front and the back bodice so that's the back bodice and I did added one inch to the length and here is the front butt bodies another thing that I did is um, according to all the, to the bloggers reviews too um, they said that the neck is a little bit low and I'm a triple D person so what I did is I added an inch after adding an inch to you know the, the the bottom part of it I also added an inch to the neck of the bodies just to lift it up a little bit so all my cleavage wouldn't be out there so that's what I did to the to the neck and um, I really didn't do anything anything to the sleeves but I just cut the size that fitted my bicep because I, I have a big bicep so the size that I use don't, don't really fit me so I have to use um, to grade it according to the size of my bicep. So, I, so what I did to the garters of the sleeve is that I added like three inches more to the, the length of the garters. Another thing is the sash. You have to be careful with the sash because it's a very long sash and it's, um, it's not joined you have to fold it and it's a continuous long sa sash and um, when I was cutting and I realized I don't have enough fabric to go that long so I joined it so be very careful when you're cutting it to make sure you have the same pattern or you if, if you have a pattern fabric to set up that same pattern when you're cutting it if you'll be joining actually if you'll be joining the fabric so let's start sewing so here is the back of the bodies what I did again is I went ahead and I lined up my bodies both the front and back because the fabric that I use is a little bit light and I wanted a little bit weight and fit so I'm, I'm putting together the dart at the back of the back bodice so I'm pinning it in place and I'll go to the machine to put it together. Here is what it looks like after sewing the dart. And I also went in and ironed the, the dart to, you know, to a side. So that's what it looks like after making the dart. So I'm going to go to the front bodies. I'm going to set this, um, the back bodies aside. Then I'm going to pick on the front bodies. The front bodies has two pleats, which I've already marked out. So I'm just going to use pin to pin them together before taking it to the machine to sew it down. And the instructions on how to pin them, it's on the um, instruction paper 
But since I already cut out, I did a notch on each of the lines for the pleats and I just fold, pull it together, notch to notch, and I lay it down. Both of them are facing the top or facing up. Then I kind of pinned it down. So I'm just going to take take it to the machine to sew a long stitch to tack it down, or just to hold it in place. And here is what it looks like after I sew a long straight stitch on it, just to hold it down. And I also ironed it too. I did it to the both side of the bodies. With the front and back bodies, right side facing each other, I'm going to go ahead and join the shoulder and the side seam. So make sure everything is aligned. So I've finished sewing it at the sides and uh, the shoulder. So I'm going to sew a bias tape to the neck of the bodies. So if you're using a block fabric that has a block color and you have a bias tape that fits, go ahead and use a bias tape that you get from the store. But if you're going to use the the fabric of for the bias tape like like what I'm doing right now, I'm going to go ahead and measure the neck of the top. Then I'm going to cut a one and a half inch long bias tape. And when I'm done cutting, I will, I will pin together the right side of the bias tape to the wrong side of the bodice. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin everything and pin it together all the way around. Then when I'm done pinning, I will take it to the machine and sew with a quarter of an inch just like so. So I have, I have sewn it together with a quarter of an inch. Then what I did again is I ironed a quarter of an inch of the bias tape in. And so just like, just like so, I'm sorry. Then I make sure, also make sure that I ironed the stitch up. Then I'm folding the uh, um, the quarter of an inch in on to the right side of the bodice like so then I'm gonna go ahead and stitch it around from one end of the bodies to the other end of the bodies so in order for me to get things straight I just went in and pin it together first so here is this the the pin I pin the bias I'm using a quarter of an inch to the right side of the bodies all the way around from one end to the other then I'm going to go ahead and stitch it together so that is it I am done stitching on it and I'm going to set that aside and I will work on the sleeve so I have the sleeve and I have the guarded fringe or peplum of the sleeve. So first thing I'm going to do is I'll just join the sleeve side seam together first, right side facing each other. And also I'm going to join the peplum or I will say the garters fabric of the sleeve together with right side facing. I'm matching the notches that I made when I was cutting it. I'm going to stitch the both sides together. I've joined the side seam of the sleeves and I've also put together the side seam of the fringe for the sleeves. So what I'm going to go now to do is I'm going to pin in a three quarter of an inch to make it the, the hem, the side of the the fringe as a hem. So I'm, I'm done stitching it three quarter in one side of the fringe 
or the gutters, guttered fringe as the hem of the sleeve. But before I go ahead, I have to do the gutters. So I went ahead and I put in two long st stitches. And um, I used the longest st stitch on my machine. So I'm just going to go to just run in a straight line all the way around in two different lines. So I'm going to pull out on the top, when I'm using the top stitch, making sure that everything is okay. Then I'm going to pull out two of the top stitches. Then I will kind of pull it in a way whereby it's gathering. Then I'll be distributing the gathers all the way around the sleeves. You have to be careful while you're pulling this thread so that it doesn't snap. Because if it snaps, then you have to go back and redo the stitch again. So I'm done putting the gathers together. I've distributed it to the size that I want. So if it's too small, when you put it into the sleeve, like I'm going to do right now. So I have the wrong side of the sleeve turned out into the right side. So I have the right side of a sleeve out right now. And I have the wrong side of that garters fabric. So I'm going to put these sleeves into the gartered fringe, like so. So with the side seam of the sleeve and the side seam of the fringe, I'm going to pin them together, like I'm doing here. Then if the the if the garter is just too small for the sleeve hole, you can just pull it a little bit and distribute it so it's all even all around. I am pinning the sleeve to the to the gather um, sleeves so I'm just making sure that all the that, that the gathers are all evened up and I'm kind of creating more gathers as I'm evenly distributing it to fit the sleeve hole so when you're done pinning, you take it to the machine and sew it together. I'm done stitching the gathered peplum and the sleeves together. So here is what it looks like. With the right side of the sleeve out, you put it inside the hole of the bodice with the bodice wrong side out. So which means the right side of the sleeves is facing the right side of the bodice. So make sure that uh, you, you start pinning from the side seam. So join together the side seam of the bodice to the side seam of the sleeves. And check the notches and make sure the notches are all aligned together. The back notches and the front notches. So pin it around and take it to the machine to sew. I'm done with the bodies and I'm going to set it aside. So pick up your sash with the right side facing each other. Stitch from the big side of the body of the, of the sash to the small side of the sash. So here's what it looks like after I got done sewing it. I started from the big side of the sash all the way to the small side of the sash. So I'm going to go ahead starting from the small side because that small small side of the sash is still open. So I'm going to turn the sash out 
from the smaller side of a sa sash, like so. After I got done turning this inside out, which is turning the right side out, I took it to the ironing table to press it flat. Then I also went ahead and closed out that smaller side of the, of the sash and I used the sarger to fit, finish the edge of it. So go grab your bodice and here is what we're going to do next. So we're going to pick up the smaller side of the sash and we're going to add, add it or join it to the front side of the bodice. So you make sure you align the sash starting from the tip top of the front bodice. Like so. Then you pin it together. Then you take it to the machine and sew it at three quarter of an inch all the way down. I'm done stitching the sash and the bodies together, like so. So what we're going to do next is, we're going to iron or iron the sti stitch or the seam to the body side, like so. Then we're gonna take, go take it to the machine and we're going to st stitch it like a closing stitch on top from the top to the bottom. And when you're done, at the hem of the bodice, you just go ahead and fold it in with three quarter of an inch to close out the hem. So I'm done sewing the sash to the bodice and and also put on the top stitch. Then I'll also go ahead, and here's what it looks like after I got done sewing it. So I also went ahead and I did the hem of the bodice with three quarter of an inch all the way around. So here's one, one step that I kind of omitted in the beginning while sewing the side seam. I wasn't sure if I was going to use the, put the right side of the bodies on top of the left or the left on top of the right. So when I got done sewing, I went ahead and I put the bodies, the top on, and I realized I was going to use, to put my right side of the bodies on top of my left. So which means we need a hole on the right side that the stash was going to go through. So I have to open up like three inches of the side seam to create the hole for the sash. If you want to have the left side of your bodice on top of the right side, then you have to have the side a hole on the on the on the left side of the side seam. So I went ahead and I opened up three inches on the right side seam. So I'm going to go ahead to just sew like a rectangle around that hole just to make it stay in a place. So it will be easy why I'm putting out the sash in and out of it. It will, it will be easy for me to just put the sash in and out. So that's what I did. I just went ahead and sew a rectangle around that hole. So that's pretty much the end of the, of the tutorial. And, um, I mean, all the sew along, I would say. So here is the top. And 
I'm going to just put the sash into the hole and that's the hole that I created so it's gonna go into the hole like so so I have the left side under like that and I have the right side on top so I would just tie it all around so thank you for joining me in this sew along and that if you have any comment on this particular pattern you can leave it down below so if you're new to my channel um, don't forget to subscribe and if you're a returning um, returning subscriber thank you for coming to my channel today so um, stay blessed until the next time I see you on another video so bye for now